What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, my room is a freaking disaster. Would you look at this mess that I am dealing with right here, guys? This room is an absolute just disaster. Hello, Charlie. How are you doing? Look how freaking amazing. Just a, such, such a cutesy. But today, my room, again, guys, is just an absolute freaking just 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 madhouse. This, this is just terrible. And I'm going to explain to you what is going on here and what I have been working on. So everybody knows that the MDT Royal Rumble is coming up. And since the MDT Royal Rumble is coming up, um, I'm going to have to redo the arena. I'm going to have to clean out. I'm going to have to rearrange and stuff like that. So so I'm going to have to probably move all of this. So I had to go under here and clean out. I had to get all the boxes. I had to get anything that was up under there. All these boxes were up under there. They are all empty, but, you know, they, they do work for, you know, creating stages and stuff like that. I got the Shield Epic Moments box right there. I got all my play sets, like all of my scaffolding and stuff over here. We have, you know, just the backstage portions. We got, like, the guardrail set. We have a bunch of random things going on. I rearranged all this over here. This used to be a ton of just mess and stuff it actually has some order now you got like uh, th these Kevin Owens I can't put these anywhere you guys see that the Kevin Owens shelf is fully booked out I mean, I just have figures running over. I have, you know, the office is all tore up. I'm, I'm trying to get everything sorted out, but I did clean out all of this. I'm still working on the bottom portion because I have all these other play sets and boxes. Tons of scaffolding over here and play sets again. Um, I have a lot of empty boxes, but the one thing I do have is that I did organize all of this over here. So underneath here, I did get all of my Jax figures and weapons. I kind of just stuck them, or no, maybe, maybe no weapons, but I did get all of my Jax figures that I think think are in my collection. I put them in this massive box right here. I have my Jax Elimination Chamber right here, which Chase from Burnout Inc. still let me borrow. I still have that. Um, thank you so much, bro, for that. So I, I put that all in one area that way that I wouldn't lose it. So when I'm ready to ship it back and he's ready to have that back, I can just go ahead and take it, find a bigger box and ship it off. I have tons of ringside defender cases under there for, you know, just building and, and stuff like that. Over here in the arena, I mean, I have the vindication stuff. Like, all of this stuff is an absolute mess. I'm trying to organize and get everything completely done so that I can move these tables when it's all said and done. When MDT Live is over, which it's it's pretty close to being done, so then we'll move on to, you know, filming the Rumble, getting all of that stuff moved and everything. The backstage is full. I mean, this whole room is just a mess, guys. I have so much more to do, but I figured you guys would be interested in this. It's sort of just like a vlog sort of video. Video, and I thought you guys would be excited to see it but there are a few additions that I made to the room we have a couple things over here that I think you guys will be interested in and it is right here so what I've done let me go ahead and back out so on this wall over here I don't know if you guys remember I used to have like my Zack Ryder t-shirt right here that was autographed and then I had my John Cena jersey right here and I had some plushies right here well I had this closet like this closet over here was like full of junk and just stuff that needed to be thrown away so I went through it cleaned it out got all of the retros that were at the top of the closet and I figured I need to put these on display so I took them all out I moved the Zack Ryder t-shirt over there I don't know what I'm going to do with the John Cena jersey so it's just laying on top of the laptop over there right now but I took all those out and I took my retros and hung them up and I'm missing quite a few I thought I was pretty much caught up but no I'm missing like six or seven of them which is kind of disappointing maybe I can fill them in here fill them up in there and you know get it all figured out but I did want to add all of those to the wall apparently this macho man retro is pretty rare I, I, I didn't know that but it's up there it's mock got all that good stuff and over here I added this zebra shelf the MDT fan mail shelf and all of this is any figures or customs or little figurines that you guys send me like I know you guys have sent me a ton of different basics and elites I didn't want to put them on this shelf I wanted to reserve this for either the like the custom made figures unless it's like specific like Dolph Ziggler Dolph Ziggler over here those are more custom made they went on the Dolph Ziggler shelf but all of the little mini figurines any little cool knickknacks and stuff you guys send me will go right here so we have Randy Orton we got little John Cena figures any little knickknack small figures or anything like that I put over here and I think it's pretty cool since it's zebra themed it's it's channel themed you guys know that the zebra prints one of the themes of the channel so I have the MDT uh, fan mail shelf so I thought that would be pretty cool to show you guys if you guys want to send anything or little knickknack stuff I put it all right there 
and I'm happy with the way that came out. That shelf was actually a pain in the butt to hang up, and it was absolutely terrible. Over here, we have all of my sta- uh... So over here we have all of my stage stuff. So we have like all the little play sets. We got all of the poster board. I guess you didn't want to be on camera. So I have all the poster boards and stuff like that. I got the sold out. I got the vindication. I have like all of my green screen stuff. We got all my extreme set stuff over here. I have literally just a box full of baggies for some stupid reason. As you guys can see, I still have a ton more to, to, to go through and sort through and hang up and everything. But once it's all done, it will be absolutely worth it and everything like that. There's more play. Like, I, I am just... Uh, you don't realize how much stuff you have until you go through and clean it. But I guess I can go ahead and show you guys the updated closet real quick. So in the updated closet, I don't know if you guys remember, but I used to have it where this black one was in the middle. When I was at my old house, I don't know if you guys have been subscribed that long, but I took my black uh, little storage unit and I used to have them stacked like this. And when I moved into this house with my wife, I don't know why I, I put that one in the middle and took up all that space. So what I did was I set that over there. I rearranged everything. I got all of the clutter out of here. I got all the clutter out of here. There's the MDT airplane. I got any little, there, there's the diorama little sets for some reason. And it's kind of crazy because I'm a pretty organized person, but I don't know why um, this closet was so just cluttery and stuff. So I decided just to clean this out. And once I cleaned out the closet, I was like, you know what, bro? Let's just go on a binge right here and clean out every single thing in this room. And it's led to this disaster. But up in here, we have just... Other things, we got stands, the retro ring, we got an old broken PS4 that I'm still trying to get all the stuff off of. We got uh, any cards you guys send me are right here. Any notes you guys send me go into the MDT egg. Every single fan mail letter I have ever gotten is in this egg. We got the Hardy Boys up there. We got Hulk Hogan in there. A can of air for some stupid reason. And yes, we, we have completely redone the closet. And I'm actually thinking probably I'm going to get more of these shelves right here. Thought about getting another shelf to go up under it so I'd have uh, more room for display and stuff like that because I'm sick of, you know, not having enough room for superstars. So I thought about adding a shelf here, a shelf there, and then a shelf here. I even thought about moving this title belt and adding one little short shelf all the way up on either side so that it would build up and be even with these, but I'm not sure about that. But I did want to add the ones here just so that, again, I wouldn't run out of room. I have a bunch of announce table bull crap right here. So yeah, guys, I am just I am just freaking up to my neck and just bull crap in here right now. But today I will finish off doing this and maybe we can get another updated room tour in here or something. But that is pretty much what I wanted to show you guys today. I thought you guys would get a kick out of this and want to know why the room is an absolute disaster and that is pretty much it guys so thank you so very much for watching the video if you enjoyed go ahead and hit the like button comment down below what you think of the disaster so far what do you think of the new additions to the room let me know subscribe to the channel for more epic wwe figure videos follow me on instagram and twitter at my damn toys and charlie you got anything to say you got anything to say you think you're cool